Okay, guys, welcome back. So um, we're just pushing on with the papers we've been doing. This is the, the 2013 State Exam Commission exam paper, right? Um, okay, and we're just continuing on in, in that theme. So we have a, a pie chart up here. It's not a riveting thing to look at and it's by its own right. So um, we, and we don't need to look at all the data and take it, tear it apart. So we just get straight, I'd suggest you just get straight down to the questions. Um, yes, it was something about uh, schools, several schools were um, 7,000 students, 7,000 adult students. We, we look at the detail when, when it's important. From so many schools were, had questionnaires done about where to keep their phones and things like that. You've read this already. So the question is, how many girls keep their mobile phone um, under their pillow. So we know we're going to be using the number 4171 and it's a certain proportion of them. So I'll set up my fraction bar and um, so girls are on the female side under their pillow is 35% so I actually don't need a fraction bar I can just multiply by 35%. So I'm leaving the calculator up here because I want to show you again how to get the percentage. So you can multiply by the number 35%. It's the same as 0.35 and you can multiply by 0.35 but you can do that too. Okay, now this is one of the weird anomalies of statistics. It's not an exact number. So let's let's round it to the to the nearest digit. But to see that, we want to do a, what we call a digital expansion. Okay, so sorry, I need I need I need to I can't start writing without getting all of this down. So the closest that comes to is fourteen sixty. It's a very good, nice way. To think of, of numbers in doubles when you want to remember a large number even for a short while. So 1460 girls. It's an approximation. Or at least this number was slightly rounded and um, it would have been rounded to the nearest number so it makes sense that this would go to the nearest number. So calculate the overall percentage of students who kept their mobile phones under their pillows. This could be quite a tricky question. We're gonna because there's a thing called waiting here. Waiting as in W E I E G H T waiting as in some one side might be more important than the other. I'll show you what I mean. We know there's four one seven one girls and two nine seven nine boys girls is to boys. I know I've gone up into the space the previous question, but that's okay. So we really have to keep this in mind now while we go off and get the percentages. But we know also that there's 35% here. And we know in, indeed we have done a lot of this calculation. So let's think about what happens on the far side. Okay, 23% of the boys. So the way I see it is we're going to calculate that. Okay, and get 685.17. I'm going to leave it out. So I'm going to add them. And we get 2145. And only now can I get the percentage of students because I can say our percentage is 2145 divided by total number of students which is 
Now that will not be a percentage. So if I want it to be a percentage, I gotta add in multiply by a hundred. And if I want a percentage to remind myself of the percentage, I can just say this is gonna be a percentage. Okay. I know some of you work much more neatly than I do. And that's great. So I'm thinking I definitely need a fraction bar. Once is any fraction at all in your question, you need a fraction bar. Two, one, four, five. Now I have a question. Can I do this on the fraction bar or do I have to go off it over here? What do you think about that? Will you give me an answer? Okay, if this was a live class now, I'd be asking you for feedback. Actually, I should have stayed up there. In reality, I, want them to, I wouldn't come down here. I'd be up here, and of course you'd stay up there. When you're on the fraction bar, there's no reason to come out from under. Now, there's no way to put in the percentage or anything. You just hit equals, and you take that answer. Great, it's exactly 30%. Well, at least exactly, but let's remember we rounded here. Well, that would be 30%. Now, would you expect one of the uh, percentages to have been bigger here, and one of them to be smaller? And I'm asking, uh, yes, you would. You'd, and, and if they weren't, it'd be a problem. Furthermore, does it bother you that this is there's a gap of 7% from the boys upwards, but there's only a gap of 5% down to 30 this way? And why are they different? Why are they different? Why are the girls closer? And the answer is, there's more girls. Good. Okay, so a new pie chart is to be drawn showing the mobile phone location for all students. Look, look, calculate the measure of the angle that would represent students who kept their mobile phones under their pillows. Excellent. So what they're saying basically is this will be a pie chart and it doesn't discriminate for gender. It's just boys and girls all together. So what they're saying is what percentage, and I, let me just do this, this. Generally, it's a good idea to put your first sector here. It's just something we do in maths. So if I'm putting 30% in here, they're asking what angle should it be? So 30% of what? 30% of a full circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay, let's see how we get that in the calculator. Clear? 360. I certainly think if you're multiplying by percentage, it's nicer to put the percentage out at the edge, at the end, plus 30. And then you can just go through this, shift, and down here at the bottom row, just near, just in from the equals, one in from the equals. Okay, and that's 108 degrees. Nice to box up your answer in some fancy. And that's internal marking this year, so don't worry about covering that box. But in general, when you come to leaving search, leave that box empty. Whatever about going down into the space, you can do that. And you having said that, it's gone digital now, and that box won't be used anymore. So you're probably doing digital exams. So do what you want here. I'm not, most people correcting don't care. They come along with a red pen and they put marks out here. So ignore what I just said. Okay, that's the end of question five.